Good morning, everyone. It is Friday and it is our last day at sea. Why am I not vlogging outside? Well, the wind is very, very strong and I had a hard time opening the door this morning. Now, I probably could have gotten it open and sat outside, but I don't wanna have a hard time going back inside. So I am just sitting in here talking to you guys. And also the waves on the sea are very choppy, so it is making the boat tip a lot more than normally. So I'm just trying to take very careful steps on this boat today. Um, so needless to say, let me kind of just catch you guys up from last night. We were gonna go to the Christmas party, but um, it was while we were having dinner. I thought the Christmas party was at eight. Well, it ended up being at six. So um, needless to say, we didn't make it. Um, but today I am wearing the shirt that I would have worn to the Christmas party. Here it is. It is my Ralphie shirt. Yes. Can you tell? Can you see what it says? Mm hmm. I don't know how many of you guys like the movie A Christmas Story. It comes on TBS every Christmas Eve for 24 hours. And it's my family's, one of my family's favorite Christmas movies. We like A Christmas Story and Home Alone, both of both Home Alones. Um, but my sister and I are wearing this shirt because we didn't get to wear it yesterday to the Christmas um, sweater shirt contest. So we're wearing them today and it's perfectly fine because it's a short sleeve shirt so it's not so we're not gonna be hot or anything um, but today I'm gonna try to go to another trivia per, trivial pursuit game because um, I just really like that kind of stuff um, and there is an 80s trivia song contest tonight I know what time it is it is at 8 I looked I checked um, I will be doing that and I'm just gonna try to relax as much as I can. We're probably not gonna be outside too much because the wind is just crazy strong today. Um, so today's just gonna be a really chill day except for those things that I wanted to do. So and then we have to we have to pack tonight because we're going home tomorrow. That's crazy. But I've had such a good time. So thankful that I got a chance to go to the different places that we went. And I just can't wait to show you guys what all I've done and everything I mean you'll see what we've done before you even see this but um I just can't wait to show you guys like cuz just I'm just amazed by everything and I'm so excited so I'm gonna go get some coffee and then just chill until it's time for Trivial Pursuit so I will catch up with you guys a little later all right I wish I was outside so that I could actually show you what it really looks like you can kind of see the dirty glass door um to our balcony but yeah that those are the waves that is what we're dealing with right now and that is what is making the boat rock like crazy right now so if i was sick yesterday i'm just praying that i can keep it all in today but yes that is what we are looking at right now all right, so the lighting here is not very great, but we are about to make this um, cross-stitch something door hanger with yarn and I don't know what you call the little thing you put the yarn in, but I'm excited. I am not much of a sewer, but we're about to try this out. what this is but I think it's adorable and a wonderful way to um, commemorate our final room clean and it's got a purple beaded necklace necklace I'm definitely going to keep that and a special and a total mother I'm vlogging can you please um, sorry y'all 
Um, and a special, see, I can't even remember what I was saying. Oh, this thank you note is so cute. And look at this. He left a card, our room, our room steward. One of the real joys of holiday season is the opportunity to say thank you and wish you the very best for the new year. That is so sweet. So this will be an abridged version of a room tour because we kind of have a mess going on because we're trying to start packing. So we had originally two beds in our room and my bed, which is over here, ha was a couch, but because I'm not sleeping on a couch, it pulled out into a bed and it turned out to be the biggest bed in the room, which is really, really cool. Um, so it can... So we, I guess, technically have three beds. And yes, oh, thank you, Mother. My mom is helping me out with this abridged room tour. These blankets are the ones that I showed you in one of the Teach Miss vlogs. Um, I, we got these from, one came from Costco, the other came from um sam's club i can't really remember which one is which though um but these came from home we just kind of prefer to sleep on our own blankets we just think that's more sanitary and um in case we get extra cold and let me show you this if i can open the door this is our balcony area oh my did you hear that that's how strong the wind is light on. So this is the balcony area. It is very chilly outside today, well tonight. And there is the beautiful Atlantic Ocean, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, the balcony, you can kind of walk around on it and it's got two seats and a table if you wanted to like bring a drink out here or have something to drink out here. If you want to close the door because it's very, very cold. Yeah, this is where you've seen me really most mornings as I have opened my day up with you all. I'm going to shut the door. It's going to probably slam. There you go. And I'm on my way to the bathroom area now. There we go. The bathroom. Now, since we are actually in a suite, um, we actually have a bathroom that has a bathtub. Our cruise, um, our room in our, on our first cruise did not have a bathtub, just had a stand-up shower. So we were blessed to have a room with a bathtub and then this mess right here. It's not that bad, it's just all of our toiletries and stuff. No biggie. And then beautiful me, hello. All right, this is going to conclude the room tour. Our closet's kind of a mess, but we did have a small closet to put our extra clothes and stuff. So this is going to conclude the room tour. So peace out. So our final hurrah for this cruise will be 80s music trivia. And I've been looking forward to that part of the cruise all week because the 80s are my favorite decade, or is my favorite decade. I don't know which one is the correct way to say that, but I love the 80s even though I was not born in the 80s. I find it to be one of the most fascinating decades and I'm very excited about going to that party. So I will be getting ready to go to that very shortly. <laughs>
right, everyone, the 80s trivia party was so much fun. One of my favorite events of the entire cruise. So now we are back in our room and we have to pack our stuff. So sad, but it is time. We had a great time, but we're also kind of ready to go home. So we're going to pack now. Good morning, everyone. Guess where we are? Yes, we are back in Charleston, South Carolina. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in a second because it actually looks pretty cool. But um, yeah, we are back. Um, we are gonna go to breakfast in a little bit because they're serving it a little earlier today. Um, well, I don't know if they're serving it earlier. I'm just going earlier. Six o'clock is when I think they're starting to serve it today because they're gonna start debarkation. Um, I think about seven, 30 or 8 o'clock so I guess they want everybody to eat so that they can get all their stuff together and start leaving so um yeah and I can tell I'm back in Charleston because I'm not in tropical warm weather anymore I'm cold again but like I said I'm not going to complain I um had a really good time and this will be something that I remember for the rest of my life so I'm gonna finish kind of straightening up and then get ready to go to breakfast so I'll check in with you guys in a little later Beloved sweet, we love you. Because you're negative. Oh, guys, love you. Goodbye, beloved Christmas tree. And friends, this is the line. Get off. Yeah, we are officially on solid ground in Charleston, South Carolina. We are no longer on the boat. Just kind of update you guys for a second I actually just got up from a nap when we got home we went back out to get lunch and then after we had lunch we all just kind of crashed in our respective places I crashed on the couch because that couch because I was so tired but um, this is gonna be the last clip um, related to our vacation and that's crazy because this is a vacation that I've talked about for so long a vacation that I have looked forward to for so long and it's happened and now it's over um, luckily though I do have like what 10 days before I have to go back to work so that's not a big deal at all um, but we just had the best time in the world it was much needed for many reasons um, at work I was beginning to feel a little burnt out um, just by a number of different things. There were some things that I was not really happy with, um, just a lot of things regarding my beautiful children that were just frustrating to me and I felt like, um, I don't know, I guess I was at my wit's end and I just tried so hard to hold it together and I did hold it together but you can only hold so much together before you burst. And um, this trip was a way for me to just let go of all of that and um, forget about it for a while. And I feel refreshed. I feel, I definitely feel so refreshed. Um, and I feel like, you know, I guess I'll have to wait for the rest of my winter break to kind of happen, but I feel much better about things than I did before I went on the cruise and um, I had some thoughts just pop up into my head about 
my kids about how I can make them better writers and things like that um, and better readers because there have just been some things with my kids that I've been wanting to do to help them more and I had some ideas pop into my head actually Thursday morning before we got to Princess K's um, and I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget um, but yeah I had some ideas come into my head that I can't actually, actually cannot wait to try um, but I guess all of that to say that I know I know some of my teacher friends and teacher YouTuber friends have come on and have said that they've been feeling stressed and been feeling burnt out and I'm right there with you because I've been feeling the same thing and there have just been times where I felt like I was inadequate as a teacher that I just wasn't that I felt like I was doing my best and it just wasn't being I guess recognize not reckon not recognized in the way like hey Miss Parnell is doing this that's not what I mean I guess that it just wasn't it didn't seem like it was enough um, if you know what I mean so um, but I'm learning every day that I don't and I I don't need recognition or anything like that because my work speaks for it speaks for itself um, and at the end of the day you can just do your very best and sometimes you will have a lesson or an experience that isn't the best and you just have to learn from it and move on and um, it's just something that I have to keep in the back of my head but um, this cruise has really brought all of that full full circle for me and um, I'm just glad that it happened because I really needed a break I really did and a seven day long break was just the right amount of time for me um, Another thing that I wanted to come on and tell you guys was about how thankful that I am that I was able to go on this trip, not to just get away, but also it taught me a lot. For instance, when we went to, where did we go? To Amber Cove and the Dominican Republic. One of our excursions that we went on was to, was to ride through the town, Amber Cove. And um, I got to learn so much about um, what the life is like for the people. Um, our tour guide told us, one, that teachers do not make very much um, in the Dominican Republic. I think he said that whatever they make equals about $400 a month in America. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, I am never going to complain about my salary again. Not that I do, but it makes you think like, wow, I have nothing to complain about because the people here survive on so much less than we do. Um, the other thing is just riding through the town and by the time you see this part of the video, you'll have already seen um, clips of me riding through the town and um, just riding through the town and seeing how the people live and um, my mom and I didn't catch it because I didn't see it. The ride was very bumpy so I didn't get to show as much as I wanted to. But riding through the town and seeing, um, my mom said that she saw someone laying in their doorway, um, and then there were these two little boys riding on a donkey. Um, like, I don't know, maybe that is just, maybe that's just the way that they like to get from place to place, I don't know. But um, the tour guide was saying that it was a kind of a, I guess a poor part of town, I don't know, um, a better way to put that. But um, it was a good experience for me to see that, wow, I know that um, I complain about a lot of things, and um, but the people here live on far less um, than what I think I might not have. So I need to be thankful for what I have and um, not complain um, because they're satisfied with what they have. I mean, maybe they are, maybe they're not. I don't know. I don't know what's inside of their minds. But um, it was really just an eye-opening experience. And not to mention, we got to go hang out at the most beautiful beach in Amber Cove. It's weird because that beach, we had to go up a mountain to get there. It was crazy. But um, the whole trip, um, Amber Cove was the place I was just talking to you about, and Grand Turk and Princess Kay's. The whole trip was amazing. And I am just so thankful that I had a chance to go um, with my family and um, just spend time with them. Now, 
my aunt and my uncle and my little cousins, um, they're sick now, so they're at home trying to get better. But other than that, we had a wonderful time and we're back home now, um, just trying, just taking it all in. We're still kind of on a high from the whole thing and we're just so thankful that we had a chance to go and I don't know, it's, it's been an, it was an amazing time. So I am actually about to go to UPS because I got an email yesterday that I read today because I didn't have Wi-Fi on my trip. I got an email saying that there is a special surprise package for me at the UPS store in my PO box that I need to go get before four o'clock because that's when it closes. So I'm going to go head over there and get it. And there will be more on that um, later this week. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys for um, allowing me to take you on my trip with me, even though you weren't with me um, physically, but you were with me as a YouTube subscriber. And I hope you guys um, really enjoy um, watching and experiencing everything with me. We ended up leaving earlier than we thought because we had priority debarkation. So um, what that, but just what that means is instead of leaving it before, right before 8.30 with everybody else, we actually left and got off of the boat at seven o'clock this morning. So um, we got home before nine. So it was kind of nice um, to kind of get off and get through pretty quickly. But anyway, thank you for allowing me to take you with me and I hope you enjoy this video whenever it comes out. It should be out in the next few days. I'm actually going to break it into two parts just because I have a feeling it's going to be way too long. So I might do half of my trip in one video and then the other half in another video. I'm sure that'll be okay with you. Um, but if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. Um, and if you are not subscribed to my channel already, I know I already said that, but go ahead and do it because I try, I'm going to try, um, I'm, I'm thinking of doing something new with my channel. I haven't really decided what it is yet, but stay tuned for that. So, we, but you got to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are subscribed, thank you for continuing to support me in this teaching journey. And you guys are amazing. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to go now. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.